So welcome back everyone. Today I thought I'd take you through the steps I do every day when we're updating the server. As you can see, sometimes there's more than one daily release. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go over to the StarMade website, go into builds, and download this zip file. The latest one, the one at the bottom. And um, <clears throat> then you're going to open Putty and go to your favorite server. And then you're just going to do all of this stuff. So. Um, we're gonna do, yeah, CD star made, then we're gonna do CD make direct directory, MKDIR, and I just use the date in reverse, because it'll always go up, gotta put your password in, and then you're gonna wanna make it writable, just in case you wanna FTP files into it, so you wanna do chmod777 on it, which technically opens it up, and you might wanna close it back down again afterwards, but... Generally speaking, you can just turn them all back. So, but you should know how to do that. So, look up chmod if you don't. And don't do it if you don't know what you're doing. Anyway, you're going to go into the directory and then you're going to do the wget command, which I didn't get. This is the wget command sudo wget and then the URL. And then I install 7x so I can decompress it in the folder. So I just run those two, makes it nice and easy. And then I've also got these commands, which are for importing the sectors, whitelist, blacklist, and admins text files. You could also import your welcome message, but it's a good idea to rewrite those. Also, it's not a good idea to bring your server config across because it's best to just rewrite it. Otherwise, you'll end up with, uh, you won't have new commands if there are any put in by new builds. Um, unless that's changed. So yeah, I'm just going to wait for this build to uh, download. There we go. So we're going to decompress the folder. And once that folder has decompressed, we're going to use sudo dot slash. And I'm just going to copy that with right click. And I'll run it. Control C because you've already got a server running. And then sudo nano, which is the text editor, the uh, script that we just ran. I just did that twice by accident, but there you go. And then you're going to want to add in dash d64 to run it in 64-bit mode, if you have a 64-bit server. going to force it. And then I'm going to double my start up to 256, which seems nice. I'm going to put an and at the end, uh, which allows this to run in the background as a background process. So then we're going to change this. We've got 20 gigabytes of RAM on the server, so we put ours in it. Uh, hang on a minute. What are you doing? 2480. There we go. So 256 on the startup, and then 20 gigabytes on the max, and uh, an AND at the end. Don't forget that dash D64 if you have a 64-bit server. And the sudo nano server.cfg. Now we get into the fun stuff. So as you can see, we're going to put our sector size up. We actually only use 10K now on the server, but we were messing around with those settings at this time when I made this tutorial. Um, I tend to leave most things alone, but I do say five seconds for sector inactive timeout. timeout. Obviously we use whitelisting, so we have star made authentication true and require authentication true. Our starting credits here are 25 million, so I put a couple zeros there. And we're going to keep going down the page. And let's see, what do we got here? Whitelist on. Oh yeah, the thrust. We've actually changed our thrust up to uh, 140. So I don't know what I'm about to set it to, but that's all we have it on now. Probably 120. What's it going to be? 140. Oh, okay. Max clients, you're going to want to change that. Our clients are over 9,000, so we use 9,001. Linear dampening, I use actually 04 here. I leave the rotational alone, and then I nerf all the loot to 1s, 0.1s, because you shouldn't get massive loot clouds. On the next page, we're going to turn the whitelist on. 
with true and then I actually turn the filter connection messages to true as well just to cut down on the red message spam I changed the default starting sector to zero because we use null sec now which means that's good oh and point three for the tolerance because I find that often the blueprints are never more than 0.3 out so turning dimension I changed to 0.9 to give people a little, little buff I leave the rotational spawns alone uh, I do turn off docking which I'm sure is down here here it is ignore docking area but true so that we can have easy docking and then I put an extra two orders on the starting credits and the recharge credits so shot just there's more money pumping in the economy and then our AI aiming accuracy goes up to 11 just because it's ironic and then I think I pretty much leave everything else alone so I wanted to be able to turn off the power depleted messages but I don't, I don't think we can I leave the planet sizes alone now because they're kind of random. So control O writes out and control X exits. And that's done. So now all we need to do is uh, co copy paste those uh, copy lines from the previous install folder. And we're good to go. So if I just copy those. So obviously you want your sector export. The sector export doesn't need the path. But everything else does because if with sector export you're copying the whole folder so that's the reason why the code is that way and I'm obviously just going from one date to the next date copy paste the whole thing in does it all done that's it everything done so now it's just a case of updating the startup script so I go into my reboot script which is very simple you can write it yourself in a few seconds so it goes sudo kill all minus nine java and then it cd into the directory where the game's installed so your path and then sudo runs the normal script which we obviously customized earlier so then whenever you run this it'll kill any running star made engine anything running java it'll just kill it and then you can just and it'll start the new one so it's good as a reboot script you can also use it to switch between active installs if you name your scripts by those installs which is something I do in a different folder if we ever want to roll back we can roll back as many builds as we want this way because we never actually upgrade them unless it's been running for like a month but uh, new versions every day guys so. and that's pretty much everything so um, from here you just run the uh, what am I doing you run dot slash to run your script and that will run the server and you're done so thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time